And today in the base, Bob Burdell is live at the San Jose Convention Center with more. Good morning, Bob. Good morning to you, Laura. We're with a 194 horsepower superbike can attain uh, speeds of 184 miles an hour. And what makes it unusual is this right here, and this is very telling. Danger, high voltage. This is an electric motor. It is an electric superbike being built. It is the most powerful electric superbike in the world. Uh, Chip Yates, you're a pro rider, but more importantly, you, you invented this. How'd you pull it off? Well, we got a team of guys, and we frankly, we stole them from aerospace industry. These guys are working on unmanned vehicles and unmanned helicopters. And uh, electric motorcycles a lot like a helicopter. It's got to be light, got to be maneuverable. You can't just fill a, a trunk of a car up with batteries. So I, we got these smart guys in, and that's how we did it. And the batteries would be in the back here. Um, it's about 200 pounds of is a lithium ion batteries. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. That's why we came to the battery show, talked to these lithium ion guys. We got the gas tank is, is full of batteries, and this back area is full of batteries. And, and it's the equivalent of how much uh, gas? It's about a third of one gallon of gasoline. And that's not efficient enough, is what you're saying? Yeah, it's 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 darn good, but we need more stored energy in these batteries to uh, to go further distances and make more horsepower. Have you been able to talk to these battery guys yet, or is that something you'll be doing over the next few days? Yeah, that's why we're here um, making a presentation 115 today to, to put out our needs, but we're we're under non-disclosure with two main battery makers, uh -huh. and so we're we're testing their batteries and we're doing pretty well. Do you think that the technology is going to get there, or do you think batteries are going to be limited by just the laws of physics? To some degree, physics, yeah. We're going to have to understand that electric vehicles are probably always going to have a limited range with respect to gasoline vehicles, but there's so many other advantages like efficiency and expense and pollution that it's it's a it's a risk worth working on. All right. Hey, Chip. Happy riding. Thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Hey, guys. The Battery at Technology Expo here at the McHenry Convention Center. Doors open today at noon, runs through Thursday, and it is free, as we've been mentioning all morning long. Brent Lohr. Not bad at all. Thanks so much, Bob.